All right, in the previous videos, we found out that this initial velocity is 44 meters per second, and it goes up to a maximum height of 98.8 meters, and the time for it to get to the top is 4.49 seconds. And now we're asked, how far down does it go? So we're interested in this part right here, this delta y. And so what we could do is we could call this y naught and say that that's zero. Now we had a zero down here, but if we just want to think about this falling down part of the problem, we call that our y naught, and then we'll find out what y is there, and that'll tell us how far down it fell. And we know that the acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared, and it's falling for a certain amount of time. Now we haven't explicitly solved for that, but we do know that the total time is 5 seconds, and we know it's going up for 4.9 seconds, so the time that it's going down must be 5 minus 4.9, and so the time for it to go down must be 0.51 seconds. We can then write in our equation y equals y naught plus b naught y t plus one half a y t squared. Um, and I did say we were going to solve for y. I'm going to write that over here. We're going to solve for y. It should be a negative value and it'll have units of meters. All right, so this is what we want to solve for. So that's unknown. We're making that zero. Uh, we didn't say what v naught y was, but remember, v y is zero here at the peak, and this is just the repeated peak point for the way down. So that is zero, and we know that 0.51. We know the acceleration. We know the time. So we can use this to solve. So y equals zero plus zero times. Uh, 0 0.51 seconds plus one half times negative 9.8 meters per second squared times 0 0.51 seconds quantity squared and y comes out to negative 1.27 meters and it asks how far down does the ball fall so ball falls 1.27 meters down. And that's our answer. And that's reasonable that it's not going to fall very far in half a second. Part B, or part E rather, so this is part D. Part E asks us for how far above the ground is it when it's caught? Well, we know this is 98.8 meters up here. All of this stuff went with that peak point, and it goes down by 1.27, so 98.8 meters minus 1.27 meters equals 97.5 meters. And that's our answer to part E. Now there is another way to do part E. We could say y equals, we could use the same equation and do it from the very beginning, so 0 plus 44 meters per second times 5 seconds. So analyze the entire motion. Plus 1 half times negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Oh, ran out of room times 5 seconds. And then we would get 90. 7.5 meters from that way. You'll see that's often the case in these problems. You can solve them multiple ways. Is the solution complete? Yes, we did parts D and E. The signs of the answers made sense. We got a negative value there, which we expected. And then we reasoned this out to get 97.5. Or we solved for Y relative to the initial starting point and 
we got a positive value. It, end, it ends up higher than where it started, so both of the signs make sense, the units all worked out, and the magnitudes are all reasonable, which we discussed previously.